Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Status Anxiety, written by the renowned British writer Alain de Button. In the novel The Red and the Black, the author Stendhal tells the story of Julian, a carpenter's son who leads a miserable life due to his humble background. Julian is a fervent admirer of Napoleon because Napoleon abolished the long-standing feudal system and aristocracy, and advocated meritocracy. Many senior officials in Napoleon's government came from the underclass. Julian dreams of following in the footsteps of his hero with his intelligence and abilities. However, Julian lives in the time of the Restoration, an era in which there was rigid social stratification. It was hardly possible then for ordinary people to improve their social status. Therefore, Julian employs all kinds of disgraceful methods to improve his status. He initially seduces the mayor's wife, and then worms his way into the Marquis's daughter's confidence. Julian thought that he could take this opportunity to achieve his dream of becoming a noble, but he ends up facing the brutal reality of death from the guillotine. The anxiety for social status possessed Julian. This kind of stress is ubiquitous among humans. The British writer Alain de Button discusses this phenomenon in his book Status Anxiety. The book made a painstaking investigation into the causes of status anxiety, and explored ways to relieve this kind of concern from the various perspectives of philosophy, art politics and religion. After publication, the book gained tremendous popularity among British readers. It was later translated into dozens of languages and sold well all over the world. A documentary adaptation of this book with the same title similarly gained extensive praise after its release and made its way around the world. The author of this book Alain de Button was born in Zurich, Switzerland in 1969. He graduated from Gonville and Keyes College at Cambridge University, majoring in history. He then earned his Master of Philosophy from King's College London. He now resides in London, England. Alain de Button writes in English, but he is also fluent in French, German, and Spanish. He has published books in several different fields, including Essay in Love, How Proust Can Change Your Life, and The Consolations of Philosophy. In 2011, he became a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. Many praise him saying that his style of writing makes obscure subjects, such as literature, philosophy, and the arts, more accessible to readers from all walks of life. Next, we'll be exploring the essence of this book in two parts. Part 1, Causes. Part 2, Solutions. Part 1, Causes. Status anxiety comes from the qualms we have about our position in the world we live in. It's rooted in the concern that we can't reach the standards for success that society sets for us. Status anxiety is the result of civilization and is a byproduct of history. Alanda Button puts forward five causes of such anxiety. Let's examine them one by one. The first cause is lovelessness. We tend to think that people pursue status for fortune, fame, and influence. However, Alanda Button digs deeper and incisively points out that the natural longing in our innermost being is love. A prominent position brings about more admiration and love. Fame and fortune are merely a manifestation of love rather than the ultimate pursuit. Love based on this premise is more like a social attribute that represents the attention and esteem of others. We can live a satisfying life if others know who we are, remember what we like, and consider our needs. Having all of this is enough to make a person live happily. This kind of love is no less than the love of a couple. Why do we strive in life? Adam Smith asks the same question in his masterpiece Theory of Moral Sentiments. To what purpose is all the toil and bustle of this world? What is the end of avarice and ambition, of the pursuit of wealth, power, and preeminence? He also provided his answer. To be observed, to be attended to, to be taken notice of with sympathy, complacency, and approbation, are all the advantages which we can propose to derive from it. The rich can obtain such attention merely because of their wealth, but the poor cannot. Therefore, the poor feel neglected, and such a feeling of being ignored makes them more ashamed of their poverty. The reason why it's so important to gain others' attention is that such recognition represents what other people think of us. People's evaluation